Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about How to improve bearing capacity of soil Bearing capacity Bearing capacity is the capacity of soil to support the loads applied to the ground. The bearing capacity of soil is the maximum average contact pressure between the foundation and the soil which should not produce shear failure in the soil. All civil engineering structures whether they are buildings, dams, bridges etc. are built on soils. A foundation is required to transmit the load of the structure on a large area of soil. The foundation of the structure should be so designed that the soil below does not fail in shear nor there is the excessive settlement of the structure. The conventional method of foundation design is based on the concept of bearing capacity. How to improve bearing capacity of soil The following techniques can be used for improving bearing capacity of soil as per the site condition. Increasing depth of foundation Draining the soil Compacting the soil Confining the soil Replacing the poor soil Using grouting material Stabilizing the soil with chemicals Increasing depth of foundation at deeper depths, the overburden pressure on soil is higher. Hence the soil is more compacted at deeper depth. As air salt it shows higher bearing capacity. This is applicable only for cohesionless soils such as sandy and gravelly soils. This method of improving bearing capacity of soil is not applicable if the subsoil material grows wetter as depth increase. This method has alumite use because with increase in depth, the weight and cost of foundation also increases. Draining the soil with increase in percentage of water content in soil, the bearing capacity decreases. In case of sandy soil, the bearing capacity may reduce as much as 50% due to presence of water content. Cohesionless soils, i.e. sandy and gravelly soils, can be drained by laying the porous pipes to a gentle slope, over a bed of sand and filling the trenches above the pipes with loose boulders. These trenches subsequently should lead to the nearest well or any water body. Compacting the soil If we compact soil using appropriate method, then there will be increase in its density and shear strength. As air salt the bearing capacity of soil also increases. There are many methods of compacting soils on site. Few of them are mentioned below. By spreading broken stones, gravel, or sand and thereafter ramming well in the bed of trenches. 
using an appropriate roller as per the soil type to move at aspect if it's speed. BR driving concrete piles or wood piles and withdrawing piles and subsequently filling the holes with sand or concrete. Confining the soil in this method, the soils are enclosed with the help of sheet piles. This confined soil is further compacted to get more strength. This method is applicable for shallow foundations. Replacing the poor soil in this method the poor soil is first removed and then the gap is filled up by superior materials such as sand, stone, gravel, or any other hard material. In order to do this, first excavate a foundation trench of about 1.5 m deep and then fill the hard material as stages of 30 cm. Then compact the hard material at every stage. This method is useful for foundations in black cotton soils. Using grouting material this method is applicable for soils where there is presence of pores fissures or cracks etc. underneath the foundation. In this method, poor soil bearing strata is hardened by injecting the cement grout under pressure, because it scales off any cracks or pores or fissures etc. For proper distribution of the cement grout, the ground is bored and perforated pipes are introduced to force the grout. Stabilizing the soil with chemicals This method of improving bearing capacity of soil is costly and applied in exceptional cases. In this method, chemical solutions like silicates of soda and calcium chloride is injected with pressure into the soil. These chemical along with the soil particles form a gel-like structure and develop a compact mass. This is called chemical stabilization of soil and used to give additional strength to soft soils at deeper depths. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.